Hello everybody. Today I would like to show you how to field strip a G43 bolt assembly. As always, before we handle a rifle, make sure it's unloaded, there's no round in the chamber and everything is safe for handling in this assembly. And let's do that. Let's flip the safety switch from firing to non-firing. And let's remove the magazine. And we see there are some rounds in the magazine, but they're dummy rounds, no primers. And also let's make sure there's nothing in the chamber. So we pull back on the charging handle. Oh, there was one inside. And now we are good. So after we made sure that it's safe to handle the rifle, and now it's time to disassemble the bolt. But before we can do that, we first have to remove the entire bolt assembly from the receiver. To accomplish that, we have to pull back on the charging handle all the way. And then we have to press down right here. This is the uh, bolt carrier latch. And once we let go, it will catch in a little cutout in the um, bolt housing. And now we can actually go ahead and remove the whole assembly from the receiver. In order to do that, we have to firmly hold on to the charging handle, put the uh, thumb behind the receiver here, and then push on this little pin here. See this one? It sticks out, you push it in, at the same time you push it a little bit upwards, and there it comes. That's the whole bolt assembly of a G43 rifle. So, you notice we had to apply some force to compress springs inside this assembly. So, that means there's a lot of compressive force, there's a lot of uh, spring power inside the assembly. So if we accidentally touch this lock button here, it will unlock the latch and the whole assembly will come apart in pieces and the pieces will be flying all over the room and maybe hit a wall or a window. You don't want that. So be careful. Always hold on firmly to the bolt assembly and let's get started so I'm holding on firmly to the assembly and now I'm pulling the bolt handle back just a little bit and now I'm releasing the latch and now I carefully ease out the bolt assembly there we go that wasn't too bad this is the bolt housing with the sliding dust cover. This is the recoil spring assembly. Let's take this apart right away. Two springs, a long one and a shorter one. The long one is facing in the direction of the barrel and this one is facing rearward. And the shorter spring is held in place by the spring retainer. Now rest this part in your palm of your hand pull back on the spring a little bit and you see the bolt retainer just falls out on its own. Now take the spring off and take these two pieces apart which are called the recoil spring guides and now the only assembly left is the bolt and the bolt carrier. So in order to get the bolt carrier off of the bolt we have to tilt it slightly and then pull it out and inside the bolt we have the two locking lugs which stick out to the left and right side we have the extractor which extracts the spent shell from the chamber and also inside is the firing pin the firing pin is inside the firing pin housing the little foot or shoe, whatever you want to call it, on the front end of the bolt carrier engages with this oblong hole in the firing pin housing. Very important later for reassembly. Now, the bolt also contains two pieces 
which are called the locking lugs. Now the locking lugs are not identical. One of the locking lugs has a little cutout here, a notch. The other one doesn't. There's no notch here and there's definitely a notch here. So this notch clears a little dimple here that has been stamped into the bolt and some material has been displaced and it forms a little hump here. So the notch is clearing the hump and that means you can only put the notched locking lug on the side where the hump is. Very important for reassembly. Now let's disassemble the firing pin carrier. The firing pin carrier contains a little safety pin in the back. Once you pull it out you can remove the firing pin extension and then you can remove the firing pin as well. So this is your whole assembly. The bolt has been completely field stripped at this point. Now you can do some cleaning and even more important inspect all parts for wear and tear especially breakage because by the end of the war the material quality was pretty bad and some of the uh, parts tend to crack under stress and if you're shooting your G43 a lot always make sure that you really inspect areas here and here and on the bolt inspect these areas where the locking lugs are operating and just in, in general look for cracks very important so now let's um, reassemble this assembly and we will start with the uh, firing pin so we take the carrier we pull out the little safety pin we insert the firing pin now it's sticking out and now the um, firing pin extension has a small and a large diameter end. The one with a larger diameter goes into the firing pin housing. Now always make sure that the notch is on top because the notch is, is there to clear, to clear the, um, the little safety pin. Once it's all back together it's all self-contained and nothing falls out and that's how it's supposed to be. Now let's install the locking lugs. Again, keep in mind there's one that has a notch. The one with the notch goes where the dimple is. Just like this. So carefully install the other one. And they tend to slide around, especially when it's all well oiled. So before you can insert the firing pin or the firing pin carrier with the firing pin, you may have to do some moving around and adjusting to clear the path just like I did here. And now you insert the firing pin. Hold on. Still moves a little bit. So you insert it. This tries to come out already. It's a little bit difficult. But there we go. So now it's together. And the next thing is installation of the bolt carrier. Now the bolt carrier, as I said earlier, goes through this oblong slot into another oblong slot in the uh, firing pin carrier. So you angle it a little bit and work it in and there we go. Once you pull the uh, bolt carrier back, you should see the locking lugs retracting and expanding again. Is it visible? Yeah. The next step is a reassembly of the recall spring assembly. As I said, you can put it together in two different ways. This way it's, it's short. When it's assembled this way it's much longer. This is the right way to do it. Now we will start with a smaller spring. We will push it over the um, 
the bushing then while firmly holding on with our palm to the end of the, uh, the guide assembly we pull the spring back until it clears the second notch there's two notches and we install the um, spring retainer with the pins facing away from the spring now it only fits in one direction you will find it out because in the beginning you will try all kinds of combinations only one works so this is really foolproof anywhere else if you assemble something and you encounter some resistance and things won't go together easily stop you're doing something wrong because you remember everything fell apart easily so if you use force or need force to put it back together something can't be right keep that in mind if you're really not sure what you're doing just contact me and I will be more than happy to help you so now that we have the piece part assemblies back together we want to assemble the whole bolt so you see these little pins sticking out of the uh, spring retainer and the, uh, the larger pin so what we want to do is we want to turn the bolt housing upside down and we want to install the uh, recoil spring assembly with these two pins up and we insert it and there it goes there are our three pins sticking out so now the last step is to marry the bolt the bolt carrier and the bolt housing simultaneously sometimes it doesn't go smooth it's just the subject of you know try 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 again but eventually you get the hang of it and it's pretty easy so first insert the spring into the bolt and now you have to simultaneously get the bolt into the bolt housing from here to here but you also have to get the bolt housing into the um, bolt carrier so that's a little bit difficult at times but right now it goes really smooth so once it's back together you really push it all the way to the end and then you apply the lock sometimes you run into a situation where it won't go because the locking lugs are sticking out and you can't push the bolt in any further into the bolt housing so the trick is in that case you hold on to the bolt carrier you yank yank on the bolt and now the locking lugs will retract and now you pull the bolt carrier all the way back secure it with the latch in the back and now you're ready you have your fully assembled bolt assembly outside of the rifle now we have to put it into the rifle and there's a sweet spot when you insert it here you see it wants to line up right in the back so you can carefully move it in and ease it in and here you see now it's almost there all you have to do is push on the little pin in the back and it will just drop down and that's it so now pull back on the charging handle unlock and you're almost there now the if you have a scope now it's the right time to install the scope set the safety to fire slide on the scope lock it secure it and now the last step is inserting the magazine and now your G43 is ready for shooting so I hope this uh, helped a little bit in explaining how things uh, come apart and go back together if you have questions send me a comment shoot me an email and I will be more than happy to assist you in putting your rifle back together thanks and um, well happy shooting and stay safe